हेलो ऑल आई एम जय मल्लेश आई एम टेक एंथ्यूजियास्ट आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर माई एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ यूजिंग फिफ्टी फाइव इंचज फोर के एल ई डी टी वी एज मॉनिटर आई डिड सम रिसर्च इन इंटरनेट अबाउट यूजिंग एल ई डी टी वी एज मॉनिटर आई जस्ट आई फाउंड सम पॉजिटिव रेस्पॉन्सेस एंड देन आई वॉज क्वाइट कन्विंस सो आई जस्ट थॉट ऑफ गिविंग ए ट्राई I purchased uh, uh, a cheaper brand called uh, Skepta. I mean, I would call it as a low low cost brand. Uh, it uh, so this is the uh, TV which I have purchased. It's uh, just one day old, and the cost was two eighty nine dollars, which is maybe one tenth of the four K actual LED computer monitor cost. And uh, it's of the size fifty five inches, as I told you. and uh, i have hooked up uh, my laptop here is my laptop this is my dell laptop i have hooked up with the uh, the led monitor so i have used my i'm currently i'm using hdmi 1.5 cable and it's connected to my the new 55 inch tv which i purchased and as you see i have set up my tv led tv as a monitor and uh, i'm quite successful and happy i have only minor glitch i see is uh, the font is maybe 2% not good when compared to the led computer monitors but uh, that's okay because uh, we are getting a very big screen with so many windows and this screen is equivalent to four hd monitors in one and at a cost of 285 dollars it is very good very good price and uh, now let me give you some tips before you make a decision for going to 4k led tv and you if you want to use it as a monitor the first thing what you have to do is if you want to hook up your laptop or desktop make sure your desktop or laptop usually the laptop if it supports uh, 4k resolution for the same go to the device manager as i'm showing up for you here check for your uh, display adapters what is the display adapter your laptop is having and uh, in my case it is intel hd graphics 520 if you just google you go to intel site you find it that intel hd 520 i mean intel r intel registered hd graphics 520 supports 4k resolution so we are good the laptop supports that's how i made the decision i bought it i have hooked up and when you are hooking up when you are connecting your laptop to uh, this led 55 inches tv do not connect to mhl hdmi port okay so here showing the advertising logo also of mhl hdmi do not connect to mhl hdmi it doesn't give you a good quality font connect it to hdmi 2 port instead of hdmi this mhl hdmi okay so hdmi 2 or 3 ports give you better uh, font resolution than HD, than this mhl port mhl is mobile meant for mobile okay so th uh, that's the first thing you will have to do just hook it up and go for if you possible buy hdmi 2.0 cable currently i'm using hdmi 1.5 i am going to try with hdmi uh, 2.0 and i will create another video or i'll put the comments about the improvement if any i found And and see the screen. See my screen. Uh, I have stacked up so many windows in my TV, it, which makes it more very productive. I don't have to keep switching between uh, so many windows, and uh, which is obviously frustrating. You all know. I have my Chrome browser. I have my Internet Explorer here. I have my Visual Studio Developer Studio. I have my File Explorer. I have my Hangouts. I have my Skype. and i have my outlook and if you notice all or all of the windows have stacked up vertically i am going to make another video to explain stacking vertically uh, stacking windows vertically the benefit it's a big benefit of productivity and efficient utilizing of spaces when compared to standard 4 is to 3 or 16 is to 9 ratio of uh, sizing the window okay so i'll not talk more much about that now Uh, I see everything good now. I'm quite happy to uh, with what decision I've made. I'm seeing all the windows, and it's making uh, uh, my life much easier. It's very productive. I can see all the windows concurrently, and just select the window I want. 
using keyboard shortcut or I can just use my mouse and I can work and I can concurrently see multiple uh, windows, play videos and again work, what not, without hassle of jumping between multiple windows, which is really a great choice. That's the reason we want to go for the 4K monitors. It, this is not possible with your 50, if you think of buying a 55 inch or 50 inch, just the HD monitor or the HD TV, I mean. Uh, it is not, uh, uh, you will not be able to uh, have so many windows because of uh, uh, less number of pixels. Ultra HD comes with four times more pixels than your uh, uh, the conventional HD monitor. So that's the, that's the only way we can uh, go for uh, bigger screens and connect bigger screens with your laptop. And let me think what I have not covered. So now it's good. I made a good decision. I think I'm quite happy. But one thing I would suggest is I would say you try for 50 inches monitor. I mean the TV. Okay. If you want to buy TV and use it as a monitor, it is a good idea. No problem with that. But uh, rather than buying 55 inches, I think you can go for 50 inches because bigger the monitor, even 4K resolution will not help irrespective of the brand. Okay, bigger the monitor or bigger the TV, lesser the pixel density. Lesser the pixel density, the quality of font and quality of images drastically reduces. So you can go for 55 inches like the way I have done. But I think if you go for 50 inches TV, Ultra HD TV or 4K TV, you may get better or you will get better quality of font. Again, 55 inches also is good, but I think if you go for 50 inches, it is more optimal. The font size will be much better. And I think the future of IT professionals, uh, uh, the IT industries is uh, 4K. They will all go for 4K bigger monitors to make their lives much easier, to be more productive rather than spending, wasting time between switching the windows and uh, instead of that, if they could see all the windows or most important windows parallelly, they will be more productive and of course more productive means more profit to the organization as well as lesser stress because of uh, reduced hassle of switching over the windows. So summarizing, uh, going for using, using 50 inches or 55 inches TV as monitor is a good choice unless you are specific with low frequency or uh, low very low time lapse which is not required uh, now one more point i want to make it here is uh, you will have to stack all these windows at the at, at the beginning to uh, i mean manually you will have to stack all these windows to make it uh, uh, look like tiles and uh, you don't waste the space but there's a software called display fusion which I'm going to use it uh, later. Uh, the Display Fusion software will automatically divide the monitor, I mean this TV, uh, to the predefined or pre-configurable number of windows as and when you want, and that will make your life much easier. And that's it. I just wanted to share my experience with you all so that you can make a good choice uh, before you buy. And uh, we could definitely go for TVs like this 4k tvs and just use them as computer monitors to get a better experience better productivity bigger screens more number of apps see them parallelly and at a throwaway cost or one tenth of maybe 120th i'm sorry 20 percent of the cost of uh, the conventional 4k monitors